Well, the new L.A. County District Attorney has suddenly reversed some of his new policies. Earlier this week, he announced his plan to reduce punishment for some of the most serious criminal offenders. But then, crime victims, prosecutors, even judges pushed back, warning that George Gascon's justice reform efforts could endanger the public. NBC4's investigative reporter Eric Leonard has been following the developments all week. And Eric, why the sudden change here today? Well, Carolyn, it was just hours after Gascon's office was still resisting calls from crime victims and their families to reconsider some of those day one justice reform measures that would reduce prison time in some of the worst crimes that the DA appears to have partially retreated, sending out new instructions to L.A. County prosecutors that allow them to once again use parts of state law designed to increase punishment in the most serious cases. This memo sent to L.A. County Deputy District Attorneys this afternoon says, After listening to the community, victims, and my Deputy District Attorneys, I have re-evaluated Special Directive 2008. Gascon writes that sentencing enhancements, which he had ordered prosecutors to drop from new cases and promised to remove from thousands of old cases, will now be allowed in some circumstances, including hate crimes, elder abuse, child physical and sexual abuse, human trafficking, major financial crimes, and, if prosecutors get special permission, could be used in cases with severe injuries or when dangerous weapons were used. On Tuesday, Gascon responded to the initial criticism from crime victims and their families, dismissing their concerns, saying that his reform policies were going to address what he said was California's mass incarceration problem with no exceptions. You know, I do believe that enhancements are on I do believe that enhancements have driven mass incarceration in this country, and I do believe that they're racist in this application. And L.A. County is a poster child for that, but you know, you have to just walk into any state prison. Yeah, Gascon's office tells us he does not plan to change any of those other day one reform direct directives, like stopping the use of bail for almost everyone. Gascon writes that he is still not allowing gangs, special circumstance or weapons enhancements, and will not allow prosecutors to increase sentences by alleging second or third strikes. And in an open letter to the county this afternoon, he said that he'd reconsidered, but he still believes that enhancements do not do anything to improve public safety. Reporting live, I'm investigative reporter. Reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News. Back to you. All right, Eric, thank you.